the number one question that, I'm, I, that I am asked when I'm shooting videos is what kind of equipment do you use? When the reality is in some of my videos I use high-end equipment, I have a nice backdrop, uh, good lighting, and in some other videos I'll use my iPhone. And today, as you can see, I'm filming with my iPhone. Other days I film with my computer. It really doesn't take much. It doesn't matter if you're doing a Facebook Live, a YouTube video, or even updating your vlog. There's all kinds of little tips and trainings that I want to share with you. Simple tips are going to make it look like you're a professional. Rule number one for shooting video, framing. If you're shooting with your iPhone, make sure you're shooting in landscape mode. So now landscape mode opposed to vertical mode. Vertical mode, it's going to give you those black lines on the edge that no one likes to see and, and it just does not look professional. So the main thing is framing. Make sure if you're shooting with your phone you're always in landscape mode. And the next thing with stability that you want to make sure you're doing is when you're shooting use both hands. So stability is a key. No one wants to see a shaky video. Make sure you're using both hands while you're recording. That way it's a nice even shot. And another quick tip for stability is using your good old selfie stick. So uh, this is not only going to help you keep things stable, there is a stabilizer built in with this one. Doesn't mean you need one, um, but it's a good way to keep things stable, especially if you're on the go. And one other tip that I'd like to tell you about for stability is a tripod. So this tripod is a pretty standard tripod. You can pretty much find them anywhere online these days and they're relatively cheap. Um, this is one that I leave at my house. I use for filming here. Um, it's easy, it's quick, uh, pretty efficient for the for shooting anything that I have to shoot at home. So I recommend getting a tripod. This is going to keep you nice and stable. So what I personally like to do is I just take the top off of my selfie stick and attach my phone right on there. Um, what And then what that's going to do is just clip right in the top here. Once you clip it in the top, now it's going to give you a nice, stable, uh, consistent photo shot from pretty much wherever you're at, whether if you're home or you can take these on the go. Me, like I said, this one I keep at home and it's just a quick, easy thing. You don't have to worry about having two people shoot any type of video. You can do this all by yourself. I will drop a link below uh, with this actual tripod. Like I said, it's nothing special, but I'll go ahead and drop any questions, concerns. If you've been thinking about getting one, and you don't know which one to get. I've had good luck with this one and there are tons of them out there, but I'll drop a link with this one below. If it fits for you, great. If not, not a big deal. And the next thing that I want to touch on is lighting. There's basically one simple rule when it comes to lighting. Make sure that you are facing the light. So it doesn't matter if you're using uh, all the bells and whistles and a nice lighting kit or if you're just using natural light with a window. You always want to be facing the light. What I mean by make sure that you're facing the light, right now I have just a couple simple lighting uh, light rings up right now. They're cheap, they're affordable. I'll go ahead and put uh, the links below for that too. But if you notice when you kind of go with the light to your back, you see how it's all blown out and just does not look good. No, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that the light is facing us. Um, that way you get a good clear shot. And it could be something as simple as, and this is sort of a bad example because the window is not that bright behind me, but you can kind of sort of still see the effect on how it's blown out. But if this was a good window, if I was using it, I would just want to make sure that I was facing the window with my phone or my camera facing me. So um, that way we get the, all the good natural light. You can find this pretty much anywhere in your house, in your office or wherever you're shooting. So just keep that in mind. And the next thing that I want to talk about is audio. Audio is pretty simple. Uh, if you're using your phone, if you're using something pretty low tech, uh, and you're shooting at your house or at your office, the main thing is you want to shut off all radio, all TV, any background distraction noises. You want to make sure you shut all windows and all doors. That way it's as quiet as it can be. That way it's picking up the sound that you, that you want it to and not something you don't want it to. If you do have a radio in the background or uh, TV going or something like that, you don't know what music's being played, there could be some type of copyright issues there and, and that's just one thing that you want to avoid at all costs if you can. And not that you need to go out and buy any type of special audio equipment. If you have your phone, that's what I'm using right now. Uh, it's working just fine. Uh, I do actually, from time to time, I will use a mic. I'll probably turn that on here for this next video or do another video with it. But normally if I'm shooting something uh, and I am using a mic, I use a Yeti mic. I'll drop a link on that below. That way if you're kind of on the fence and you're looking for something you don't really know, what you should pull the trigger on. I'll go ahead and drop a link to the, the mic that I typically use in most of my videos. So not that you need to buy it, but if you're looking for something good, I recommend it. And as far as a set 
goes when you're shooting, I would just recommend to keep it simple. If you keep it simple, it's going to encourage you to shoot videos more. You're going to be more comfortable, especially if it is at your home or at your office or wherever. Just keep it simple. That way it's easy to set up, easy to take down. It's easy to just jump down and shoot a video whenever you need to. I found that the simpler I made it, the easier I made it. If I was just shooting videos at my house, not looking for the perfect set somewhere out and about, uh, it cut down on a lot of the time it took to actually shoot videos. I know there are those videos and, and certain funnels and things like that that you might be shooting that you want to have that perfect backdrop and perfect setting. You don't need that for every video. I would just recommend finding somewhere simple, somewhere easy, and somewhere where you're comfortable. At the end of the day, you just want to make sure people are listening to what you're saying and the value that you're giving them rather than what's going on in the area behind you or in front of you or wherever. Uh, the main thing about the video is you want to be able to get the message out there to the people that want to hear. And that's really all you need to get started. Yes, you can invest in lighting. Yes, you can invest in audio equipment down the road. But this is truly all you need to do to get started shooting a video. So keep it simple. Keep it easy. And feel free to send me your videos if you start making them and you want something critiqued or you want someone to take a look at it. I'm more than happy to take a look. So feel free to send me any videos that you'd like. I'd love to see how, you, how you're doing. And if you like this video, feel free to share it with your friends. Feel free to share it on another platform. Uh, go ahead and like it down below. Share a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback as well. Feel free to subscribe to this page for any future tips and trainings. Right now I'm shooting these videos every Thursday so there'll be more tips and trainings just like this. So um, if you have any questions, concerns, or just any other requests, feel free to leave those below. And for now, this is Anthony Hendrickson. Thank you for tuning into this video. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching or listening. I hope this content has helped you in some way. Maybe it motivated you, maybe it inspired you, maybe it actually triggered something uh, in your head to make you get out of that rut or get out of your own way. Maybe it simply entertained you. I'm just an ex-service industry guy who, once I decided I didn't want to live in that fast-paced life anymore, uh, decided to go my own way. I felt like I was out on an island. Everyone who I'd known for years uh, suddenly wasn't around and it was a whole new feeling. After spending tons of my savings, going into deeper debt, I realized that it was really time for a change and there's something I need to do about it. After being at a mental rock bottom, I decided that I had to pull myself up, do something different, and that's how I got into the world of marketing. Now, I've been almost two years removed from the corporate life and I've never looked back. If you wanna follow me on my journey or connect later on or in the future, or even if you just wanna follow me, you can either find me at my blog at anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Once again, that is anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Or if you're watching this video, you can click, click on the link below. Once again, I'm Anthony Hendrickson, and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, bye-bye.